Leading teams remotely is going to require anyone that leads teams to understand the emotional tone of where that remote team is every single day of their life. The longer we live and work in isolation, which what the majority of the global workforce is doing right now, the more important as a leader, you need to understand where is that team emotionally. Abraham and Hicks, 22 levels of emotion. It's called the Emotional Guidance Scale. Check it out. I use that one-on-one -on -one with all my clients. I use it with my own staff. I use it in my own life with my own family, wanting to know where they are emotionally. It's really, really, really important if you want to effectively lead teams that you need to know where those people are every single day of their life on that emotional guidance scale. <clears throat> when people come into the office, we're able to read their tone, their body language, the way they're communicating. But when we're working in isolation, we're working from home, we need a real effective tool to challenge us as a leader that leads teams about where are my key guys emotionally. You've got to ask yourself this question. Where are you emotionally? On that emotional guidance scale designed by Abraham and Hicks. It's a fantastic tool to make the difference, a real difference in the lives of the people you lead because effective leaders will move those people up that guidance scale. No matter what level they are, you've got to get them into the right colours on that guidance scale. And I've used it with Leadership Dynamics for many, many years, working one-on-one -on -one with my clients. I've also used it in Professional Rugby League and the National Rugby League with the Manly Seagulls, South Sydney Rabbitohs and currently the West Tigers. We're called human beings. It doesn't matter how much money we get paid. It doesn't matter what our title is. If people start to go down that guidance scale and you don't know where they are, you will lead them ineffectively. You'll add more pressure and you'll, really, you'll actually add to their ineffectiveness in their role. It's a powerful, powerful tool for you to lead them and grow them emotionally in isolation so they can be effective. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Spending one-on-one -on -one time with your key people, knowing where they are emotionally, will really, really touch their heart and spirit, which can make a big difference in their life in isolation right now. Check out the Abraham and Hicks guidance, emotional guidance scale.